Alright guys, here's where we're at. Uh, where I'm parking. All this property here, uh, he also owns this house here in between, which uh, sits empty at the time. Now you can see the old barns over there, and there's a very old house over there that was there before the canal went through. Uh, when I get over there, I'll give you a little more history on it. Also, all these fields, all the way back to those power lines, he owns all those, rents them out. Plenty of space to detect. I've done very little of it. Really never hunted around this house at all. It's got a block foundation. It's not very old, but the ground itself was part of this original farm. be a silo right there. And what the guy who owns all this property does is he at least has apartments in this old home and built a nice big new one in the back right on the canal. Oh, this is all rentals. This is the original house. Very old. Uh, a couple hundred years old he said. He didn't have the exact date. There's his house in the back. Lots more field. All oh, that field back there I could do. Apparently by those trees back there, there uh, used to be something I might check out in the fall. So, there's an old, old house building or possibly got these house. There's the canal. Back here is where I found the 1870 half dime. Uh, large sun over there near the big tree. Right out in here, he said when they were doing the yard, all they did is smooth it out. There's a foundation over here. It's, and it's a building where they used to keep the donkeys. Uh, it's all along here, all the uh, barges were dragged by donkeys up and down. So, um, you guys, I got a real good one here, about six inches. It's coming in uh, 48. Six. Six.
There it is. Oh, oh, guys, look at that. Look at that. I believe we have a large scent. Okay, I got the water and the vial here for this situation. All right. Got us a vial here with some cotton. I'm gonna put that large scent in there or whatever it is, gotta be a large scent. I'm gonna fill it up with some water. You guys can see all that I'm filling. Oh yeah, it's working, working pretty good. A few more cotton balls. Oh yeah. One cent. Can't get a date yet, give me a second. Forums told me about this and said, Make sure you could fit a silver dollar in there. Okay, 18 40. Boy, she's in nice shape. Okay, I won't wipe it any more than that. And let me get it dried off and I'll show you guys. Wow, excellent. This is the second one I've got here. First this year. Okay, very green. I don't know if you can make out anything on the face. Wipe my camera down. Just uh, hit a signal real close to the surface here, and I pried it up. I didn't put this bend in; it was already there. Thank God. But uh, look at that's a uh, little button. Pretty big. I thought I'd show you. All right, guys. Here's the end of the hunt. I had stopped and went and ate, and I came back a second time around. I didn't get anything but uh, some more junk. Um, show you the good stuff I got. Uh, this button here, so cool. another tiny little button, actually has a design on the front, I'm going to this one, okay, actually similar, uh, and then the large scent, which if I can get in focus, needs to be cleaned up, That side's in beautiful shape. Oh. So that's the good stuff. Here's uh, the John Pots, your typical crud. And I got this item here, which I wasn't sure what it was at first, but I think it is a shoe for an ox. Familiar with that, you know, but I saw one of these on uh, 
Saving New England. Saving History New England. Bill Ladd. He had uh, something similar to this. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is or not. But. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, definitely a lot, 